Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today's unboxing is a Project Earth beauty bag by Selfridges. So it's still available to order online. I'll link all the info underneath if you're interested. But essentially it came in this lovely little dust bag from Selfridges. I ordered it online um, and it came in that bag, which I've never had before when I've ordered things from them. So that was nice. But this is what the kit actually looks like. And this kit retails at £55, but it's actually, the contents are actually worth £150. So I'm going to unbox it for you and I'm going to tell you everything that comes inside, as well as the sizes, what everything does. Um, so Selfridges recently have got into being a little bit more eco-friendly. So there's whole sections on the websites now where you can choose clothes that are more kind of environmentally friendly in terms of the way that they produce and things like that and in the kind of beauty uh, halls and things they've also increased the number of eco-friendly products and brands and things like that so everything in here goes along with the kind of eco-friendly um beauty way and this is like made out of recycled almost like a recycled cardboard or something um it's got a little Tag on in yellow and obviously it says Selfridges and Co there on the front which is cute. So I'm just going to start unboxing it all and tell you what's in here. So everything's beauty themed. So we're going to start off some of my like skincare and stuff. So this is a lip balm and it's by Skin Sapiens which I've not purchased anything from them before. It's a 10ml full size and I think this retails around about £6.95-£7. But it's got a really simple list of ingredients there on the back. So literally one to 10 tells you everything that's in there. There's not like a bazillion ingredients, which can be a bit scary. But it also, it's vegan, natural origin, unperfumed, and it says with avocado and olive. It's also cosmos, natural, and 1% for the planet. So this is what this looks like. And it's just got a little applicator like that and it's just a nice clear lip balm something I reached for actually when it was delivered so that's the one of the, the one products I've actually used so far since it got arrived um this is one of the most expensive items in here if not the most expensive item and it's a skincare item it's by Farin Amber Skincare and it's a super fruit face milk it contains grapefruit, sunflower with organic prickly pear, calamine and rose quartz. It says hand blended with raw botanical plant oils, natural minerals and rose quartz to brighten, detoxify and soothe stressed skin. And it says to massage three to six drops onto cleanse skin. Mineral separation is normal, shake well. It's also cruelty free. And it's got a little leaping bunny there on the side. This retails at £29.50, so it's great value. And this is what the serum looks like. So with it being natural, there is a little bit of separation between the oils and the things that are in there. So you can just see it sort of start to separate on one side. But this is just supposed to improve your skin, the look of your skin and give you a little bit of a glow. And it's a full size as well. And like I said, worth £29.50. So that's a good item to find in there. We've got a toothbrush or a truth brush, this is called. It's a beautiful bamboo toothbrush. So I usually use like an electric toothbrush, but quite often when traveling, I will take a uh, disposable toothbrush but I have started purchasing bamboo ones because they are obviously kinder to the environment and the biodegradable so this is what this looks like um, it's got nice firm bristles on it it's white at the end and it's got it feels very luxe actually and I also like the way they've packaged it like in cardboard as well so that can obviously everything can be recycled it says sustainably produced from natural bamboo medium castor oil based bristles my journey to you has been carbon neutral then to go along with that we've actually got there's so many things in here honestly it's crazy so we've actually got a natural toothpaste to go along with that which is made in britain it's plastic free and it's by geo organics I think this is about 6.95 or something like that and it's mineral rich non-foaming formula with organic virgin coconut oil it's in english peppermint it's a 60 ml size 
and it's got really natural ingredients and limited ingredients at that. There's no sodium lauryl sulfate in here either. Um, so it is good. And it's in a little glass pot like this. So this is interesting to see how that's gonna work. Oh, it smells like mint chocolate ice cream rather than peppermint. Ooh. I always taste as good as it smells, but this is what it looks like. So it almost looks like a face mask or something, but I guess you just maybe dip a clean toothbrush in there or maybe get a bit out on your finger and put it on your toothbrush after explore uh, how best to do it. It just says apply a pea sized amount to a toothbrush, brush for two minutes, then rinse well. Hmm, excited to try that. So then we've got a natural deodorant. Now I use natural deodorants anyway. I have been doing for over a year, but if you are new to natural deodorants, you will probably notice a difference when going from a kind of chemical or an aluminium deodorant to a natural one in that it can take your body a few days, about a week, 10 days to kind of adjust and not need the aluminium to stop you producing sweat and things like that. So I'm always excited when I get to try a new natural deodorant because there's more and more come to the market now, but to start with, there weren't that many. It was a relatively new thing. So I just, just to explain, I get excited when there is a natural deodorant on the market or a natural deodorant that I can try. So this comes in a little pot like this. So I've seen these in Selfridges before in a much bigger pot. This is obviously just like a sample size, but it's a cute one to take out actually in case I need to top up my deodorant. This is obviously tiny and handbag size. So it's 10 grams and it says it's lemon and geranium and it's clean deodorant balm. So you just massage it into your underarms essentially. And that's what it looks like inside. It's got a lovely light scent to it. Definitely get a little bit of lemon and a little bit of floral, but only very subtle. Very nice, very, very nice. I will be looking forward to trying that and seeing how it works. A really well-known brand in here is Summer Fridays. So this is the Overtime Mask and it's in a 29 gram size. Now this is about a half size, half the size of a full size. And I think the full size are like, 60 pounds or something they're quite expensive but i have actually had a sample of this before and i used it and i loved it again cruelty free fragrance free sulfate free it's just a really great detoxifying mask it's got pumpkin and exfoliating apricot seed powder so it polishes away dead skin cells for a luminous effect it's just lovely and summer friday's masks are ugh, some of the best I've used. Um, I love the jet lag mask as well. So I was excited to see this amazingly well-known brand in here. And it's just something else that kind of boosts the value of this for me. Um, so yeah, I was just really excited that that was in there. And like I said, that's a 28 gram size and it's the Overtime mask. Then we've got a product by Frankincense. Literally, that's what it's called. And it's the Divine Skin Concentrate. It's made in England. It's this Awake Organics. And it's a super nourishing protective treatment for cheeks, eyes, and dry lips. Do you know what? I really like the smell of like natural type products. So it's like a funny kind of yellowy color. And it really smells like a natural type spa. If I've ever gone for like beauty treatments in somewhere that prides themselves on their kind of natural ingredients and stuff, that is what it smells like. And it is a really lovely kind of lightweight balm really on there as well. So it would definitely add some moisture. It would also be great for things like obviously cuticles, the ends of your hair, um, lips as it says. It's all got food grade ingredients and stuff in there as well. It's also got cannabis satavia, the UK hemp seed oil. Um, it's got lots of different lovely oils actually in there as well. Uh, 15 gram size, cruelty free and everything, and just a lovely nice, hopefully multitasking product by the sounds of it. There is a shampoo and conditioner. So this is like a whole kind of kit, almost like a great eco-friendly travel kit, I would say. The most eco-friendly travel set I've seen so far anyway. So these are by the brand for Feke. I don't know how you pronounce that. I've just started seeing these recently online um, in like a lot of the online beauty websites have started stocking this brand. 
and I don't think it's one I've seen before, certainly not one I've tried, but these little bottles are made with 95% recycled plastic, which is lovely to see. And you get in here, it's both clean, vegan and sustainable, they're the 60ml travel size, and you get the Brilliant Gloss Shampoo and the Brilliant Gloss Conditioner. Also no sodium lauryl sulfate or no nasties or anything like that in there, so it looks like the kind of shampoo and conditioner I can get on board with. They've also included some little tampons from Dame, which are organic, toxin-free, hypoallergenic, organic cotton tampons. And it also has a 50% off code as well if you want to buy more of them. And it comes in a cute little box and they're just like applicator-free tampons. And this looks like a really interesting product. So this is a foamy. Foamy, foamy, 100% plastic free, cruelty free, cleanse and refresh with peppermint oil and green tea and it's a two in one body bar. Now this, I just love the idea of this. So it's essentially soap and a rope, if you remember soap and a rope from a long, long time ago um, or at Christmas. But it's a little bit more than that because it's a really good quality natural soap, but it's also got these little massagey bobbly bits on. Which, if you've ever used a soap with massagey bobbly bits on, for whatever a better phrase, you kind of wonder why all soaps don't have them on because they are lovely for just massaging your shoulders with while you're giving yourself a wash. They're just really lovely. And of course, because it's got this little um, cotton string on it you can hang it up so it'll just dry after you've used it and it's there to be used again and again and again smells lovely really light kind of mint scent and it's suitable for sensitive skin as well so this is something i've seen and vegan as well this is something i've seen in selfridges and thought hmm that looks interesting and it says it's got 25 uses on it as well so i think the thing with this is if you are trying to make some um, more kind of environmentally conscious choices. This is a great way to start with your beauty regime by trying a lot of these brands that are really kind of concentrating on that sort of thing. So I love the opportunity to try lots of these sorts of products. So something else I've seen around and about is a cleansing mitt. So there's a lot of these around at the minute, the reusable cleansing mitts, the ones that you, where you can just remove makeup without cleansers, things like that. So this is Face Halo and it's the modern makeup remover in original white and it says just add water, the water loosens your makeup allowing Face Halo to reach deep into your pores to remove and trap makeup. You can also use it on your um, eyes and it says for best results hand wash directly after use of soap and warm water, machine wash with similar colours as needed. It's cruelty free and vegan, non-toxic, reusable and recyclable. Personally, I tend to use a cleanser. I enjoy using a cleanser, but um, I do like to use um, like a cloth or a mitt or whatever to take off my cleanser. So this will be perfect for that. And it also kind of looks like a cotton pad. So it would be a nice alternative for a cotton pad, whereas you can reuse it rather than using a cotton pad. And it also comes with little instructions kind of telling you how to use it as well. And I, I just like the look of it as well. I think that's lovely. And it looks, the packaging, the design, it looks very luxe for this type of reusable um, product. In my opinion, it's probably the most luxe version of one of these that I've seen. So well done Face Halo. We're still going, there's still more items in here. So we've got this called Last Swab and it's a reusable cotton swab. And I think I first saw this on Instagram, I think it was. So it's an environmentally friendly alternative to cotton swabs. Now I would usually use a lot of cotton swabs, but I'm conscious that a lot of people are using them for tidying up makeup, things like that. They're ending up in landfill, landfill. The vast majority of them are not going to be recyclable unless you buy special ones and even then, not the best. So, um, this is literally a one-off cotton swab. You buy this one cotton swab, you clean it, you reuse it, you never need to buy cotton swabs again. And it actually says in here, you just saved the planet from up to 1,000 cotton swabs. It says use last swab like you would use a normal makeup cotton swab, although we do advise that you swab responsibly. And it tells you not to put it in your ears because you're not supposed to do that really, not to use on infants or children under three, and do not apply acetone to the swab. So it comes in a cute little case like this. So you can store it in there to keep it clean. And also you can take it with you traveling if you wanted to. So it opens by just like putting your finger in the little 
nodule and sliding it open like this and it's got a little holder there for the cotton swab itself and it seems to be made from it's hard to describe really i'm not really sure what it's made of um, but it's got like a pointed end which is perfect for kind of removing um, makeup and tidying makeup and stuff and then a sort of traditional cotton swab end as well but these are quite expensive they're like nine or ten pounds but it's definitely a more environmentally friendly way to use a cotton swab than to keep using a new one and obviously throwing it away and stuff afterwards so i'm excited to try this and see how easy it is to clean and what i think about using it and yeah i'm excited for that one then we've got something from india lee another fairly well-known lux type brand this is the essential body lotion hydrate and smooth in a 30 ml travel size and i think this is about 10 pounds for the travel size it's quite a pricey brand so this is what that looks like smells very kind of earthy and this is also um cruelty free and approved by the forestry commission and it says a non-greasy hydrating body lotion to optimize skin texture conditioning shea and cocoa butters nourishing jojoba and antioxidant argan oils leave skin soft smooth and beautifully moisturized calming lavender and soothing bergamot and mandarin oils leave the skin feeling soft and supple grounded in nature supported through science inspired by life and finally, another really well-known brand and a full-size product. This is Ren's Perfect Canvas Clean Jelly Oil Cleanser. And this came on my radar when Caroline Hirons put it in her kit for summer. And I thought, hmm, I've been seeing that around. She says it's good, I might have to try that. Um, so this is the full size. This is £25 to purchase on its own. So again, if I was going to buy this anyway, this is £25 for £30 more, I got all the other stuff in the kit. So it was a good deal for me. And this is vegan, it's cruelty free, and it's a delightful scented jelly cleanser that you put on your face dry and then you can add some water to kind of emulsify it or you can just take it off with a cloth. And I'm very excited to try it. And it says it contains sunflower seed extracts, meadow fa meadow foam seed oil and it's the products that respect your skin and our planet clean to skin clean to planet excited so the biggest challenge here is getting everything back inside the bag it's not easy there is an awful lot of stuff oh but there we go i've got it back in there so i hope you've enjoyed watching this unboxing and like i said it's called the project earth beauty bag i'll link it underneath if you do want to get it so what do you think of this kind of eco-friendly beauty haul are you interested does this bag kind of appeal to you do any of the items in it appeal to you i find it exciting there's a lot of things i've never tried um some brands i have some brands i haven't but there's an awful lot of interesting products in there that i'm really really going to enjoy using and getting used to and i just really want to share it with you in case anyone else was interested in wanting to try this and then on top of that it's got 150 pound value so you are also getting a really good deal you're paying just over a third of the price um than you would if you bought every item individually and it comes in this cute little bag as well and yeah it's doing a little bit of good using a lot of these types of brands instead of some other less eco-friendly brands so yeah so i hope you've enjoyed watching this unboxing and i'd love it if you give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to make sure you don't miss any more of my unboxings bye guys